Hi, this is JP LaForce from EfficientAnalyst.com. In this episode, we will have fun by using analytics to make solving Wordle puzzles easier. This is the dashboard that I created in Power BI. Started off by using a few compilation of five letter words that I found online, combining them together, and came with 9,330 possible words. Based on these, I did a little bit of analysis to come up with uh, this visual here that will get updated as we play the game. And it contains uh, the list of letters of the alphabet and how many words remaining have that letter in it. So we can see at the start, there's 4,289 words with the letter S at least once in it. And it goes all the way down to the letter Q with only 85 words with this letter. And as we play, we'll mark down our guesses over here. If we know where the correct location is, we'll put it in the top section. And if we only know if the, word, if the letter exists or not in the word, we'll be using this to mark one that it is present and zero that it is not. Two tactics that we'll be using. First, we'll use the tactic where we use the most common letters. So we'll start with the top here and work our way down. And the other technique is to do the opposite, where you start from the bottom with the least commonly used letters and you try to eliminate those. Either way should be working, but let's start with the most common letters part here. Looking at the top five letters, I typically go with the word arose as my starter which covers all five of them. So we'll go in here and we'll mark the letters as we find them. So we see that the A is present, but not at this location. And then uh, we don't know any of the other letters yet. So we'll update this. We do have the letter A. We don't have the R. We don't have the O. We don't have the S and we don't have the E. So we can see that with this one guess, we're now down to 635 possible words. So one that comes to mind that is going to use, uh, you know, the top four and uh, then the letter G. So we'll go with a line. And the idea is to start using most of the most common letters and work our way through. So now we have matched the L and there is no I, G, and N. So we'll update this over here. We have an L, there's no G, I, N, N over here, which brings us down to 110 uh, words over here. And I try to avoid words like, you know, you have all the way over here that has twice the letter A. I try to get away from those. Uh, I'm trying to hit as many letters as possible right now. So I see one word here, platy, uh, hit uh, most of the top uh, letters. So we'll go uh, try that one next. So we have the T at the right location. There is no P and Y. So we'll go mark the over here and there is no Y and uh, basically we now know that the correct guess is waltz so we will go in and put waltz in wordle unlimited this time so it should be a different uh, wordle puzzle instead and we'll use uh, the technique that we talked uh, using the bottom letters to see what we can find. Yeah, so let's uh, use the letter Q and uh, I guess if we look at uh, the letters here, uh, probably Quake could be a good one to start with. So we have uh, Q, the U is the lowest uh, letter here. A is pretty high though, but we have the K that we're hitting. So we're hitting a couple of uh, the lower letters uh, over here so let's give that a try and we have uh, matched the A and not the other letters so this yes. 
and we've narrowed it down to 1875. Uh, I see favor over here. Uh, could potentially be an. Actually, no. Uh, well, yeah, it hits the F and the V. Uh, some of the other letters are pretty high too, but. We'll give this one a chance and we can see we've matched the O and the R but in the incorrect position. So let's go over here, the O and the R. There is no F and there is no V. So with that we've narrowed it down to 128. Okay, let's try the letter Z. We saw there was a razor over there as an option. And we have matched R in the right location. So we'll mark it over here. And we don't have a Z. And now we're down to 17 possible words. So we can see even using, you know, a lot of the lower letters, uh, it still uh, helps, uh, you know, block out a lot of things. Um, I see a royal over here. Uh, it's uh, hitting the L, the Y, and a couple of other things. So let's see. Uh, what this word will give and looks like we were able to find it. So as you can see very counterintuitively uh, it is very possible to uh, solve the wordles by using the least commonly used letters as well as using the most commonly used letters. So I think the moral of the story is uh, probably not as much uh, stressful in terms of which starter word you're going to use. Uh, either strategy seems to be working out uh, quite well. The idea is to start using a lot of words uh, that have many letters that you can hit and the uh, quicker then you can uh, hit all those vowels and get those out of the way. Uh, I think you'll be in a great uh, position going forward. Please remember to like, subscribe, share with a friend. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.